Hi guys, during my last video, we have seen how we can use Olama and host the large language models locally. But there is one persistent issue and uh, a few comments have been received that we don't like to work with a terminal, for example, uh, but we want a sort of interface or web UI like, like GPT-4. But we do have the solution. And the solution is the web UI of Olama. Do you see the difference? This is ChatGPT or GPT-4's OpenAI's web interface. And this is the Olama's web interface. Pretty good, pretty similar. We can select any of the models here. The models that are downloaded in your own system. But we will see uh, it later and how to set it up everything. So let me start from the beginning. We have Olama that is used for running the large language models locally and we need to download this so we click on download right now it is available for mac and linux coming soon for windows we can download this for mac os and install it after installing and running you will see a logo an icon here saying that olama is running you can quit the olama from here and again start it from this icon here so once we start it it's very easy we have seen in the last video just open up a new terminal and say oh llama run mistral for example because i've already downloaded this it will load up the mistral now and then we can ask questions so tell me a joke this is what we have seen in the last video this is very fast and another one this is very fast and you will like it i just have a an 8 GB uh, MacBook. I'm going to show you this Mac. This is MacBook Air. It's 8 GB memory, but you can see that is pretty good speed. Another one. So you can see it's very good. But what I was saying is that we want an interface like ChatGPT here. And so we are going to set up this interface. So for setting up this interface, or well, once we have downloaded the olama and we have the working case we have downloaded one or two models let me download uh, one more model let me exit this clear this and uh, let's see the list of models that are available and these are the models let me download a uh, llama 2 for you so uh, to download it you say oh llama just run the llama 2 and this will pull the model if it is not available in your local system and that is very easy you don't need to set up anything else while this is downloading it's a 3.8 gb file let me go ahead and set up everything needed to work so as to get this interface here once we have this model running we have a solution of the web ui interface so in the olama web ui we have this web ui and if you go, if we scroll down, we see this interface has already been made by our fellow developers. And what we need to do is just run a single command that will get you started. So once we have the Olama running here, once we have the Olama running, and once we have it uh, set up on the terminal, um, we checked it. If we go uh, to this link, which is the local host in the 11434 port then you can see that it shows olama is running now once this olama is running uh, on this port we can run this docker command but before that we need to install docker so this is the docker desktop website you can download the docker desktop here and once we download and install it you will get something like this interface so here all the containers which are being uh, loaded will be shown here. So let us start up a container. Uh, let me go back and copy this code here. And now open up a terminal, new window. And here, just paste it here. So what does it do? Just let me explain it here. Docker running is for creating and running any containers. Uh, D is for detached mode. P is for uh, you know port settings and this 3000 is your uh, system support and 8080 is the docker support so anything that you send to 3000 will be sent to 8080 on the docker 
this is a flag add host host docker internal this is for communicating between the communication between the docker and your local system we're gonna put a name of uh, olama web ui so dash dash name olama web ui this is the name of our uh, docker or container then restart always so if there is any crash or anything like that it will restart and then we have this uh, github container repository.io we're going to pull an image uh, olama dash web ui and specifically we are going to pull the main uh, file from that so this is the image file which is already hosted uh, on the docker uh, platform where there is you know on the website where there is different images that have been set up we just need to download the image and run the image then what happens is that a container is being built in the docker app with all the files and settings and you don't need to do any installations so all the installations have been taken care of if we just call this image and download this image and run it having said that once we copy this code to the terminal and just press go enter it is going to create the container for us and this doesn't match the required image platform doesn't match the detected host and no specific platform was requested there was this issue can we use this let's try this out then it's unable to find the local image so it's pulling the local image okay and we can go to our docker so there is it has already pulled okay it is running here so since it is running here now what you can do is just click on this port localhost and you will be taken to this or this page here this is the web in user interface what we can do here is just select any model so let's say select uh, the mistral model here and tell me a fun fact about roman empires let's wait for the result okay here is a fact did you know that the romans had an advanced system of road networks which allowed them to travel rapidly throughout the empire they built over the 15 50 000 miles of paved road okay uh, tell me a joke again but you know this works why don't scientists trust atoms because they make up everything now this is going to be completed since i have a download ongoing download therefore this is a little bit slow but let's wait for the download to complete and then we can see the full potential and the full speed but these are the settings here uh where is that this is a setting we can have a theme light theme and dark theme here we can have advanced settings like seeds and uh, temperature the penalty top k top p we can have different models we can add a model here just write in the name it will pull the model just like the way we have done here we can delete a model okay and there are different options add-ons authentication and this has been created by timothy j beak you can go to his github and star him because uh, he has been doing such a great job now we can switch up the model here so open up a new chat here and then let's switch up a model uh, orca mini here uh, show me a quote snippet i'm asking the wrong questions to the wrong guy but it's okay so what you can do here is that you can uh, you can uh, take the best uh, models you can download the best models for your working case and you can you know set up an army of models for example here uh, if you go to new chat for here we have uh, the code llama which is a very good coder or code model so we can use uh, it for coding if you want uncensored model you can use dolphin uh, of course you can read uh, the different you can read the different use cases of different models how you can use models so llama uncensored we have our mini general purpose model ranging from 3 billion parameters to 70 billion okay so now what i'm going to do is uh, stop this docker and let's go to langchain and see some interesting stuff here so let me stop this so what, I, what i've done is just close docker and now we are going to use langchain uh, for a, a specific use case so uh, one of the requests which i received was using langchain so let's use langchain now for this purpose i have uh, if you go to my profile my github profile uh, you will see 
an olama repo here so you can click this olama repo here and then i have decided that i will put in use cases here so this is the first use case that i have here uh, we are going to see how to get started with this use case but i shall be uploading uh, different use cases for every video that i publish for llama and uh, for all llama and this will be an interesting so first step is you go ahead and and download the setup file that is done we start, install and start the software so Olama is running in our system and then we need to uh, copy or clone this entire repository and then get started uh, inside any particular folder of your choice so let me create up a new folder here for you so let's say tester or let's say YouTube okay so let me open up Visual Studio Code and we go to file go to open folder and then i go to youtube and open this up so inside youtube i have nothing right now so i go to terminal new terminal and what i'm going to need to do is go to my github repo click on code here click this link and go to visual studio code and say git of course you need to have git installed as well so git clone and put in this link http s uh, github.com prompt engineer 48 slash olama dot git so once you press ok this uh, is cloned onto your system now once you are uh, have downloaded this we can go inside the folder olama so we are inside this folder now now inside this folder we want to work on the first folder for today so uh, we change the folder to one o llama and langchain okay so just clear this now we are on the langchain so in the langchain we have this main file and this requirement files so we need to install the requirements so how do you install pip install of course there's just one install one requirement in, uh, for uh, one requirement of installation but pip install dash r requirements and dot txt so this will set up and install everything since i already have so this shows that i've already installed once we have installed this you can run this main file this is just you know calling some langchain integrations uh, and from langchain dot llm so we call the olama from uh, and we start up this instance of olama so llm is the olama model is mistral callback is callback manager and uh, streaming the standard output call handler and then we are going to print the lm of this is the input tell me about the history of ai so we're just going to run this uh, so on my mac i need to say python 3 on your windows you can say python uh, main dot pi just press enter and let's wait for the result it should work since our olama here is running it's local mm -hmm. it's local which means you are safe and you can put in your company's secret documents here as well there is no issue because we are not connected to the internet so as you can see this works so i'm going to summarize everything in this video we have seen how do we install olama and get it running how do we use a web interface we also seen how to we have also seen how to use langchain for a purpose and for that i have created a new repo which you can clone and um, fork it if you want and put in a star but you can just download it locally and use it for different use cases now i will be adding a bunch of different use cases here because this i find to be very interesting and it is one step uh, closer to automation and creation of different agents in the next video i have so many ideas to put forward but what i will um, try is uh, different rag settings fine tuning of different uh, models and your the ultimate goal of putting and trying to put the autogen configuration working uh, for different models so having said that this is the host uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like this content and i hope to see you next time please watch these other videos i know you find this interesting so this is your host prompt engineer signing off have a nice day bye bye